Give, uh, give Minnesota credit. I uh, thought they played really well and uh, deserved the win. So give those guys credit. We'll obviously got a quick turnaround, have to get better in a lot of areas. Chris, a week ago, you had the number one team in the country on the ropes in the final seconds. Now you've got a three-game losing streak, and they've been tough losses. What are you – What I guess what has transpired in the last week that you find yourself where you are right now? You know, I think we, <clears throat> we're, we're obviously not guarding great. We're not playing um, well enough together. This was our poorest offensive game of the year. Um, so there's a lot to clean up there. I'll ask about shot selection. It seemed in the first half uh, you were getting a lot of quick shots, contested shots, and just not real high percentage yeah. shots. And maybe that leaked over into the second half, although you did make a little bit of a run. Just uh, that contributes to your percentage of 38 to their 50. That seems like. Yeah, it was our worst. It was the worst offensive game of the year. Give, uh, uh, give them credit. I thought them going under ball screens bothered us. Um, and uh, we obviously had a little bit of lack of continuity with, um, you know, Zed wasn't able to practice the last couple of days. Looking back on it, I think I made a mistake playing him too long. I should not have played him as long as I did. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was, our, it was our poorest offensive outing, really, in, in quite some time, certainly this year. Was, um, Sean mentioned that you guys were lacking in energy tonight, you know, him among the players. What can you say about that? And is that something you notice as well? Well, they can answer that. I, I don't know that, um, that they're the ones that can answer to that. You know, obviously, if that's the case, then I got to do a better job. And what ultimately led to Zed playing? I know you said in the pregame show it was going to be up to him. How close was he to 100 percent? Oh, he gave it a go. He, he uh, but him not not be, not practicing again. I think that was an error on my part playing him so much. With the way some of these losses have gone this year, in your experience. Do you see that start to weigh on young players, especially in their psyche, when it's constantly the last four minutes of the game that maybe decide things? Well, we weren't really ever in this game uh, in terms of feeling like we had kind of imposed our will. Um, in some ways, if we'd have won it, it would have been a bit of a disservice because uh, I'm not sure that, that uh, we, we deserved it. So um, they did a great job clawing back, our guys did, but uh, and did a good job executing late. but. Um, you know, the reality is I'm not sure that we, we earned this one if we would have won it. With 1.7 seconds left. Looked like a clean block, uh, but uh, we shouldn't have had ourselves in that position. Officials made the call. You, you talk about clawing back. You had a brief lead in the second half. You got it. You took the one-point lead, and I think they had a 10-0 run. You had a couple of turnovers, some block shots. Um, what is this team trying to figure out when you have the chance to seize momentum, you have the chance to take the game, and then you give up that? Yeah, I thought it came back to some defensive errors and, and poor shot selection. How do you deal with that at this point of the season on a short turnaround, all those things? How do you try to address some of these things in we short order? we got to get a lot better with, with – uh, this, this was our worst – uh, again, our worst game offensively, our worst game in terms of shot selection. That had, that had not been an issue um, up to this point. Sean brought up the energy. You said you have to do a better job coaching, but what do you want to see from the leaders of this team with such a young group and those guys' as a voice in the locker room as opposed to what you're telling them day in, day out? Yeah, they, they've obviously got to own it. Uh, this league's hard. It's demanding on you. And uh, if you don't perform on a given night, uh, you're going to get beat. We saw that tonight. Again, give Minnesota credit, but certainly they've got to earn that, and we as coaches have to do a better job, certainly. So you just said you weren't happy with your shot selection. It felt like you missed a lot of shots we did. in close. So you didn't think those were good shots because they were contested? Are those shots you feel you should make or not? You didn't like the actual shot. I'm, I'm not necessarily talking about uh, some of the shots around the rim that we missed. There were some that were challenged that their length bothered us. That, that probably warranted a kick out, but we were trying to play through the pain. I'm talking about some of the other shots that came up. Just we have more more poor shots than we've had. Just by your demeanor up there, it, uh, there have been times when you've come in here after losses in any given year where you still kind of found positives in them. It doesn't seem to be the case this time. Are there things that you're maybe happy with what you saw here tonight, or were you just kind of disappointed overall with the We got performance? a lot to clean up. Yeah, we got a lot to clean up. I thought, again, our guys did a good job getting it back uh, to a, a possession game there. Um, I give them a lot of credit, but we got a lot to clean up. A number of the guys 
uh, early in the year talked about guys can uh, plenty of guys in this team can score that didn't have to be one guy and Bryce has obviously been the leading scorer when he has a night like the first half where he's I think three of ten and, and clearly the focus of the defense what do you need from the other guys to kind of live up to what they were saying early to to compliment him out there yeah I think uh, we need we need more guys obviously to I think more than anything we just needed to play uh, more connected offensively um, and I think that was that was what was most disappointed. Because of that, we took some four shots and some shots out of rhythm. Chris, what what has this team shown you to this point this season that gives you confidence that you can turn things around right now in in league play? Well, I think that'll that'll be get decided here in these you know this next month. How do you personally, I guess, process a loss like this when you like you said offensively the, the, your poorest performance of the season? You are playing a team that's 0-4 in the league, and I know you said everyone is tough in this league, but this seems like a deflating type of loss, potentially a season type of changing loss. How do you personally, I guess, move forward from it? You know, Adam, you just focus on the task at hand, and that is getting better. I mean, we're not into focusing on big picture. We have to get better in areas. That's the charge in front of me. I've got to do a better job getting them better. Thanks, Coach.